what's up scorpio and welcome to my channel i'm back you guys you get to see my face again okay i'm kind of a little bit of better energy but i want to first of all thank you guys okay if it wasn't for your your comments like y'all be lifting me up like y'all don't know what i be going through okay these past couple days you know i told y'all y'all may not see my face still you know what i'm saying scorpio sees like i've been going through some things over here you know and I had a conversation with myself, Scorpio. I had to look in the mirror and I said to myself, myself said, huh? I was like, bitch, you gotta get this shit together. Like, you can't give these people this situation your power. You can't let them take your power. Like, you don't fall too motherfucking hard to, to get to the place that you're at right now. You know what I'm saying? So, my talk to you, you guys, is don't allow anybody to take control of you, okay? Steal your joy. Steal your happiness, okay? You're supposed to be enjoying things in life and you can't even enjoy them shits because other people, other energy, you know what I'm saying, are, are trying to steal your joy. Can't allow that shit to happen no more, okay? And I had to have a conversation with myself, and myself said, huh? They was all fine, bitch. Get this shit together. You got four shit. I know y'all. I want to grace you, you know what I'm saying? I want to give you my my good-ass energy. And I just didn't feel like, Scorpio, I ain't want to paint my nails. I ain't want to put on no clothes. I ain't want to do none of that shit. I was like, fuck all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I kept on giving these messages, but that's what I got to do, but that energy was fucked up. But I'm back. I'm back. I ain't going to let nothing steal my joy, you guys. All right. So let's get into this reading. Let's pull some messages here and see what spirit wants you guys to know. Messages through music. Okay. I think we had this before. Let's get another one. Messages through music. Ooh. Okay. So, Scorpio, we got a young buck. Okay. Somebody in your energy, Scorpio, like they feel like you're trying to play it cool. You're trying to add all nonchalant. Okay, this could be you or them now, okay? Somebody feel like somebody trying to play it cool. They trying to act all nonchalant. They like, you know damn well that you want me, okay? <laughs> all right, so we got a young buck. I know you want me, okay? All right, so let's pull some messages here. Let's see what's going on. Messages for my Scorpios. What's up, Scorpio? I miss you guys. Act like I've been gone or some shit here. I know y'all ain't different from looking at some hands and looking at a face. You know what I'm saying? All right, Holy Spirit. What's going on here? Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? Scorpio, one thing about this job, I tell you what, I got to practice what the fuck I preach. I can't be up here telling y'all to do this and do that, and then I don't be doing that damn shit myself, okay? All right, so we have you inspire me so much. You are my muse, okay? So there is someone here, Scorpio, that you have been inspiring this person, okay? Whether you know it or not, you're inspiring this person to become the best version of themselves. You're inspiring people, Scorpio, to take leap of faith, okay? Or it's just someone in particular. I feel like this is someone who's seeing your growth, okay? People who have seen you struggle, seeing, you know what I'm saying, what you've been through and where you came from, okay, and where you're about to go. Someone here feels like you're their peace. You're their happy place here, okay? We also have, mm, but someone here in Scorpio never believed in soulmates until they met you, okay? So somebody in Scorpio didn't believe in soulmates. Somebody didn't believe in twin flames, okay? They didn't believe in none of this shit. But I feel like someone here is watching you. And whatever that you're doing, Scorpio, you're inspiring this person to become the best version of themselves, okay? You're inspiring this person to become a better person, okay? And this is somebody, like I said, this can be someone that you share this deep soulmate connection with, okay? For some of you, this could be your divine counterpart. But this is someone they never believed in those type things until they met you, okay? With something about this connection, Scorpio, and this could be you as well. You know, you never knew nothing about twins or none of that shit. I know I didn't. You know, until you met your twin or until you met, you know, this person that you had this connection with. And, like, when you met them, you was like, oh, wow. Like, I've never experienced that type of love, that type of feeling, you know, from anyone else before. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more. 
Thanks, Nyla. Thank you for teaching me how to appreciate the small things in life. Okay, so somebody here, Scorpio, could have been very materialistic or they feel like they had to have a lot of money. They had to have this and they had to have that to enjoy life. But someone here is saying, Scorpio, you didn't have, you ain't have a whole lot of money. You didn't have a lot of this and then, okay, all you had was your worth. You loved yourself, okay? And I feel like whatever it was, like you still did whatever you had to do. Like you didn't have that that force and drive before. Your force and drive was you. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I feel like this person didn't see you live that lavish life. You know what I'm saying? From jump. You know, some people, you see them living this, this life of luxury and this and that. You're like, you know what I'm saying? Like you want to have that thing. You want to have those things as well. Okay. But when people see that you still working hard, but you got the bare minimum. Thank you, Spirit. This person seen you with the bare minimum and you still was happy. You still was joyous. You still, you know what I'm saying, kept pressing forward. You didn't have a life of luxury. You didn't have the nicest car, the nicest truck, you know what I'm saying, the nicest home, but you still were happy with what you had, okay? You taught this person to appreciate the small things, to not feel like you got to have this and you got to have that, you know, in order to feel like you've accomplished something in life or that you've done something with yourself, okay? Tell us more, Holly Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. This person now, Scorpio, see, because you are inspiring this person, I feel like you're really inspiring someone's change, okay? I feel like, Scorpio, you meeting this person, you having this connection, like you were the catalyst to this person, like having this new beginning and learning how to enjoy things, becoming a better person. If this person didn't meet you, Scorpio, they never would have did that shit, okay? We didn't meet these, this person, Scorpio, we would have never became the best version of ourselves, okay? And it's like, this person is really thankful. Like this person really, really, Scorpio, <laughs> is thankful. They feel like you're their peace, okay? And they realize this connection is feeling all these emotions that they have, Scorpio, this is what real love feels like. So this person, Scorpio, didn't know what real love felt like. A lot of us, Scorpio, didn't know what real love felt like. We thought the people that we had been dealing with and people from our past, we thought those were men and women that who we really love. But shit, that wasn't real love. It was the love for what it was, you know what I'm saying? But was that real love? Was that someone that we were going to share our life with? Was that someone who was going to teach us the valuable lessons that this one person did? No, it wasn't. And that's why a lot of us, are, this experience that we have with this person, it was painful. It was fucked up, you guys. I said when we get to 10,000 um, subscribers, I may share with y'all, you know, my twin flame journey. Because I hadn't been... I mean, I guess I've been on this journey for 39 years now, but you know, me knowing about it and what's going on, I found this shit out in January 2021 and it's September of 23, okay? So, knowing about it, then I was put on this platform last year. It's kind of like, bam, bam, bam. Like, it's been a lot of events that have happened in my life that put me here, but I'm thankful for each and every one of them, okay? So this person now, Scorpio, knows what real love feels like. And it's all because of you. It wasn't because of these third parties. It wasn't people from their past. It was because they met your ass, okay? Your honesty and vulnerability scares me and it allures me at the same time. So this person, Scorpio, didn't know how to be honest. They can tell the damn truth, say they damn life, Scorpio, okay? They didn't know how to be vulnerable. They didn't know how to open up. For some of you, this person I'm seeing you cry. They was like, oh, wow, Scorpio cry? Hell yeah, bitch, we got tears too, okay? We got feelings. We got emotions. Now, do we? We don't wear them shits on our sleeve because a lot of us, I don't know about y'all, I'm very protective of myself. So it's like a lot of people don't really get to know. I'm going to say the real me. You know what I'm saying? You you get to see what you get. But to know, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't get to see that vulnerable side because you can't be vulnerable with everybody, okay? But this person loves how that you're in touch. You in tune with your feelings and emotions. If, if you feel the need to cry, you ain't scared to do that shit. You don't care about what nobody got to say, how nobody feels, what nobody think about that shit because you just be unapologetically you, Scorpio, and that's what this person loves about you the most, okay? It scares them that you're able to do this because this is something this person hasn't conquered themselves, you know what I'm saying? They're still trying to conquer how to be vulnerable, you know what I'm saying? How to be honest, how to how to let down their guard. This is something this person is still working on, but to see you do it, you're inspiring this person that it is okay to let down your guard. It is okay to be able to be your true, authentic self because the right people will appreciate this shit, okay? 
All right, let's get one more. Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us one more. Oh, and Scorpio, when you touch me, I feel butterflies in my stomach. So somebody saying, baby, they know you want me, Scorpio, okay? You can be telling this person shit. I know you want me. Or this person telling you, Scorpio, you can play all you want to. You know what I'm saying? I know I, I fucked up in the past. You know what I'm saying? I know I did this and that, but... Man, keep it real, Scorpio. You know you want me. Shit, stop playing. Stop playing with yourself and stop playing with me. Because when you guys touch each other, okay, what's that song? 1010. Didn't get with you. To... What she say? Every time I call, every time you something, I feel trembles in my heart. How can I? How can I get with you till my day comes? This is what I'm going to do. Sitting up in my room. Okay, so Brandy sitting up in my room. It's like this person, they feel trembles in their heart, okay? They they get these butterflies in their stomach when you touch them, okay? Because they touch Scorpio shit as love, okay? When you and this person used to touch, it probably was like electrifying Scorpio because their energy, their chemistry, man, that shit was, was, was potent. That shit was extreme. When someone here missing butterflies that they used to get from you, okay? Because that's what love. Only time you get those type of feelings, Scorpio, is when you love somebody. This is somebody who loves you, Scorpio. Okay, and when you touch this person, they feel butterflies. Let's get one more. I want to be happy, even if that means being without me. Okay, yeah. But see, this person, they know they didn't treat you right, Scorpio. Okay, remember what I said earlier. This person wants you to be happy, Scorpio, and if that means being without them. Having them in your life means that you're going to be happy. This is what they want you to do. Okay? All right. Now, if you know Scorpio being with this person is what's going to make you happy, then she should do that. Okay? Because we got, hey, I know you want me. Young buck, I know you want me. All right. Who is this reading about, Holy Spirit? Scorpio, we got Capricorn, Cancer, Sag, Gemini. We got Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Sag. We have Libra, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.